right guys I hope everyone is having an amazing day um, back rather quickly and I thought that because I just went through some pain points here with this I would capture the experience and share it with you in case anybody else is going through the same uh, scenario uh, learning FL Studio 20 I love the product but it's extensive and you know initially looking through things a lot of the built-in drum sounds are very electronic right uh, suited more to hip-hop or uh, electronic music which is not a problem however I have a vast library of real drum sounds and real session playing through this other program I use and I wanted to see how I could get it working the first time I attempted this it took me a while to get it going so this is the very second time I'm attempting and let's see how we do here you would think it would be here right under generators um, but interestingly enough it is not and that's what threw me off so I assumed initially that it wasn't integrated properly so that was a bad assumption on my part so if we go to um, manage plugins okay these are the plugins that are installed and it will tell you if there's an error these are erroring out because I have an old DAW that uh, I no longer license, but it picked them up because it's in the path. No big deal. But within the working uh, plugins, if I type in ToonTrack, which is the company that makes Easy Drummer, you see it's right here. Okay. And you can see the plugin exists and it's installed properly. So, how do I get this into my program right uh, what I've done is if I say there's a field here where is it um, here we go track mode okay instrument track so this is where you would apply it and of course it just doesn't show up by default and that threw me off I assumed if it wasn't here that was a bad assumption go to more plugins and this is where you're gonna find it and there's easy drummer and now we're gonna double click it and allow it to initialize and boom there it is right so the first test we're gonna run is just looking at the browser um, like I told you I have a pretty extensive uh, library here but you know let's just say big rock drums straight okay and let's see if we hear it perfect okay so now we know the product is working however if you noticed it is also in the main bus under a single track right um, oh I gotta click up here right you can see right here Okay, so that's problematic. We don't want that. So this is where it got a little tricky. I wasn't quite sure how to address that. This is how we address it. You have to come in here under the plugin configuration. And within here, there is a processing field, and you say auto map output. You hit that, and boom, one, two, three, four, etc. Now we go back to the main window. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to go into our mixer. Okay, and you can see here the mixer still defines that single track. We're going to come in here and just, you can actually assign these one at a time. We're just going to say multi-channel. And lo and behold, you can see they all take on new channel assignments. But does that then make a difference? Will it in fact go across the channel here and show our drums being played across these channels? Well, let's find out. Let's hit the mixer. We, we've got that as set up. Let's hit the browser and let's try this new pattern once again. And look at that. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. So there you go. Those are the little gutches with Easy Drummer when trying to get it set up in FL Studio 20. At least that was my experience. It's not going to stare you in the face as a virtual instrument, even though it is in fact there. So, um,. There is hope, and now I have my complete library at my disposal, and I am seriously looking forward to uh, recording some music with it. So again, thanks for watching. Have a great day, all.